Hello everyone, I am back with yet another unboxing slash review video, uh, since the last one went just ever so well. So today, we're going to try a different, uh, different company, different organization altogether. Uh, maybe one day we'll graduate beyond wrestling figures, but not at this point. We're going to start with the wrestling figures as of now, and who better to go with than... The man of the hour, the man with the power, too sweet to be sour, superstar Billy Graham. So once again, let's get our handy dandy tools of the trade. I'm trying to get a sponsorship, I really am. Anyway, tools of the trade will be opening this box as well. Alright, now give me one second as I use the tools of the trade. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Tools of the trade. Tools of the trade are lovely. Okay. Here we are. Here's the man himself. The great superstar Billy Graham. Um, it appears that the head that they've decided to include in the box applied is his 1980s look. We, I guess we can only be thankful that they did not include his Mr. Clean Karate martial arts look. But, um... I must say, at first glance, it looks quite good. It's actually got a very good expression. I mean, well done. Of course, if you look, both expressions are very much the same. Let's take this guy out and see what we've got, huh? Easier said than done. Oh. He has a, a lovely tie-dye t-shirt. Which, uh, this particular model of tie-dye t-shirt, this particular design appears to have been more associated with, um, Don the Rock Morocco. I believe that he actually came with this exact shirt. I could be mistaken. I'd have to review, uh, some previous videos. Anyway. Oh, this comes off much easier with gloves on, so let's see what the torso looks like. Oh, he is in, he is ripped, is he not? He is ripped and ready for action. Anyway, okay, so, so far, I do not believe he was quite this ripped in the 80s when he had this particular head. This definitely looks more like an early 1970s World Heavyweight Championship body for the superstar. But alas, I'm not going to nitpick that. I'm actually, I actually applaud Mattel for including an option for the later head. Let's see how easy it is to remove this, shall we? Okay, that wasn't too difficult at all. Let's hope I don't somehow lose it, because heads, especially bald ones, have a manner of escaping. So we've got here. And here is the 1977 version. Son of a... Yeah. That does it, shall we? Yeah. All right, here is Superstar in live and living color. He might say something to the degree, to the uh, effect of, if you do not have a color television, go hawk your car so that you can buy a television, a color television, and see the Superstar in live and living, living color. This is a tremendous figure right here. This, this is one that I've been looking for for quite some time. I'm very, very happy to have him join the collection. Because as I'm a huge superstar Billy Graham fan, they, they've gotten his physique down just impeccably, at least for the 1977 version. As for the 80s version, it's quite good too. But it was a bit more bulky at the time, a little less ripped. But um, as a whole, including the accessories, which includes Elite 34 Hulk Hogan's feather boa, a couple of different hands, a pair of sunglasses, which are featured oh so prominently on the side of the bag, right, the box right here. And of course, the 1977 version of the head. I would be pleased, pleased to give this figure an 8.5 out of 10. This is quite good. 